Hello students, welcome to this video lesson on practical problem solving and programming. Today we're going to learn about Scratch as a programming tool. Also, we will explore the Scratch 2.0 offline editor interface. This video lesson will cover what Scratch is, the Scratch interface, followed by a quick test and a recap. To start with, what is Scratch? Scratch is a visual programming language that allows us to make simple programs for animating objects on the screen. Scratch uses visual blocks like puzzle pieces to create a program. All you have to do is to move the blocks around. The number of ways to arrange the blocks is endless. There is no need to remember or type codes. The Scratch 2.0 offline editor can be downloaded for free from the Scratch website. Once the program is installed on a computer, internet connection is not needed and you can start creating Scratch projects. Now let us have a look at the Scratch interface. The four main elements of the interface are the stage, the sprite, the block palette, and the scripts area. The stage is an area where the animations are displayed. It can have several backdrops. Sprites are programmed to do actions on the stage. The default sprite in Scratch is an orange cat. Here you can see some examples of sprites that are available in the Scratch library. A very important part of the Scratch interface is the block palette. The block palette is made up of different blocks of code that can be dragged and dropped onto the scripts area. The blocks are used to program the sprite to do or say something. The scripts area is where the blocks of codes are dragged and assembled. Blocks can be removed from a script by dragging them back to the block palette. Now we will watch a short demonstration of the Scratch 2.0 offline editor interface. First, we click on the Scratch cat icon to open the program. Now you can see the Scratch interface. At the top, there is the file menu and some cursor tools such as duplicate, delete, grow, shrink and block help. This is the stage area where all animations are shown. It can take several backgrounds, also called backdrops. On the stage, you can see the sprite. 
which performs actions according to blocks of codes which have been selected. The green flag at the top is used to start the scripts and the red button to stop them. Here is the block palette from which you can choose coding blocks. This is the scripts area where coding blocks are dragged and dropped to create scripts. This is the Sprites pane, where you can select a new backdrop from the library, or paint a new one, or upload one from a file, or a camera. New sprites can also be selected from the library, or painted, or uploaded from a file or camera. The Costumes pane is where you can select a costume from the library or paint a new one or upload one from a file or a camera. The sound pane enables you to add sound to animation from a list of audio clips available in the library. You can also record sound or upload sound from a file. And finally, the help or tips button on the right provides step-by-step -step examples on how to use the coding blocks to make interesting projects. Now to evaluate what you have learned today, let us do a quick test. Read the following questions carefully. You will have about three seconds to give your answer. Number one, Scratch is a visual programming language. True or false? The answer is true. Scratch is a visual programming language for animating objects on the screen. Number two. Blocks of code are dragged and dropped onto the stage. True or false? The answer is false. Blocks of code are dragged and dropped onto the scripts area. Number three. The default sprite in Scratch is an orange cat. True or false? The answer is true. The default sprite is an orange cat. Number four. The sound pane contains a list of sprites available. True or false? The answer is false. It is the sprite pane that contains a list of sprites. Number five, you can make a sprite larger or smaller by the grow or shrink icons. True or false? The answer is true. The grow icon makes the sprite bigger and the shrink icon makes the sprite smaller. Dear students, this is the end of our quick test. 
I am sure that you found all the correct answers. It is now time for a recap of today's lesson. Scratch is a software that is used to create interactive stories, games and animations. A computer graphic called a sprite is animated using blocks of code. The Scratch interface has a toolbar at the top. The toolbar consists of a file menu and some cursor tools to duplicate, delete, grow and shrink the sprite. It also has a block help icon which when dragged to a block gives information about the use of the block. This is the stage where your Scratch creations are shown. This is the block palette where all the coding blocks are found. This is the scripts area where the blocks are dropped and assembled into scripts. On the stage, we can see the sprite, which performs actions according to the script. In the Sprites pane, new backdrops or sprites can be selected. And on the top right hand side, there is another help or tips button, which when clicked, shows step by step examples of scripts that you can use. Dear students, we have reached the end of our lesson for today. Thank you for your attention. Goodbye and see you again very soon.